Hi, I'm Luca Congedo and you're watching from GIS to Remote Sensing. This is a very special video because I'm presenting the new version of the semi-automatic classification plugin for QGIS. In this new version 5 I've tried to improve several tools of the plugin. So let's see the main new features. So this is the new interface. We have, of course, uh, the main menu with all the functions of the plugin. And we have uh, the new dock, which is now just one dock with many tabs, a toolbar for the main functions of the plugin, and a box uh, with the news about the plugin and related services. So, this is for the input. We have also the classification dock here with all these tabs. So here we, where we can create classifications. And the working toolbar, which is now uh, the main toolbar where we can uh, uh, see the RGB color composites, create ROIs and create classification previews. And also we have another toolbar here for the main functions. We have the main interface. So the first thing to notice is the new input. In particular we have the input image with the bandset. We can now open directly the images from the plugin. So we can select, for instance, these Sentinel-2 bands. The bands are loaded in QJS. And also bands are directly loaded in the band set. We have the bands here so we just need to set the wavelength the center wavelength we have here the color composite uh, creation for the input image a virtual raster is automatically created and the main new thing about the input is the new training input file which is now a new single file uh, SCP file so we can create this new file here which contains both the vector part and the spectral signature part so all the training areas or ROIs are uh, collected in the heroic signature list. We can, for instance, draw a manual ROI. A new option is to create multi-part ROIs, uh, pressing the control while digitizing the polygon. So, for instance, here we can create two polygons for this ROI and save it to the signature list. We can notice that the macro class uh, information is now uh, in this new module. In particular, you can notice the column type, the heroic signature list, where the values can be R if uh, only the ROI polygon is saved, as if only the spectral signature is saved and B if both ROI and spectral signatures are saved. Here we have four ROIs and four macro classes. In the classification algorithm we can select uh, if using the macro class or the class. We can uh, create uh, classification previews from the working toolbar and we can set the transparency here we can use the mouse wheel to set the transparency. We can change easily also the color composite and 
uh, we have a new tool which is the RGB list which allows to create uh, and edit color composites so for instance here the color composite 732 for Sentinel-2 we can add as many color composite as we wish and the color composite will be listed in the RGB list so we can switch easily between color composites we can also use the mouse wheel here so now we can see the new spectral signature plot which has been uh, uh, redesigned in particular the plot we have the new buttons here for showing the entire plot we can uh, move with the left click uh, inside the, the plot and we can zoom with the right click inside the plot and we have uh, these other buttons here about automatic thresholds which we are going to uh, see in detail in the following tutorials we can also show and hide the plot value range the band lines which is a line for every single band in the band set the center wavelength we can see the spectral details and of course the spectral distances so another new uh, tool is the scatter plot which has been uh, uh, improved in particular now we can uh, see the scatter plot for uh, every ROI the scatter plot is calculated for two bands which can be selected We can also change the color map of each scatter plot. We can also select values in the scatter plot by drawing a polygon, for instance, here, an orange polygon. We can change the color. Each color represents uh, a length cover class so we can create another polygon here with this button and when we have selected these values we can show a raster which is calculated directly from the values in the scatter plot which intersect the two polygons so we have here the orange and the green classes and we can of course set the extent of the raster calculation we already had the NDVI visualization during the, during the ROI creation we can now select also the EVI another spectral index and we can also edit a custom expression here so we can calculate any index based on the bands in the band set so for instance here band 4 divided band 3 and this is calculated on the fly so we have seen the band set before there have been improvements also in the Benset tools so we can see here all the options which, which are now uh, functions we can be uh, run and in particular there is the band calc expression which can be automatically calculated from the Benset also the tool band calc has been improved here we have uh, the index calculation which uh, easily uh, recall the NDVI and DVI expressions here we have the EVI expression the NDVI after 
the name after the add symbol is the output name. And we have also a new decision rules which allows for uh, easily creating rules using all the bands uh, available. You can see here the band names. Of course we can use the variables related to the band set, so band set. And also we have the variables related to the blue, the red and near infrared. So automatically if a blue band or a red band or a near infrared band are defined in the band set, we can use this name. So for instance here we can set a, a rule where the near infrared is greater than 0.1 and the red band is greater than 0.1. Another expression, for instance, the near infrared uh, less than 0.1 and red band less than 0.1. We can also change the values, which are the values uh, of the raster calculation, for instance, 0. And we can calculate here the expression. So we have created a new raster with these rules. So another important improvement has been the download of uh, satellite images. In particular, Landsat can now directly download bands using the user and password from uh, NASA. The Sentinel-2 is also being improved uh, with the option of the service, so we can use uh, alternative services. And the new one is the download of Aster images, again with the user and password from NASA. So we have here three free satellites that we can use. So we have the Aster images, the Sentinel-2 images, and the Lancet images. The preprocessing functions have been improved. Uh, in particular, we have the new Aster processing. We can, of course, clip multiple raster, split raster bands. A new tool is the principal component analysis, which is uh, performed on the bands uh, of the band set. So, for instance, we can create here the principal components of the band set. After the calculation, we have here in the output the agent values. We can see the, the first two components account for, for a large part, very large part of the variance in the image. And here we have the principal components. We can convert from vector to raster, so we can for instance convert the training input or any vector file to raster. The post-processing tools have been uh, updated. We have, of course, the accuracy, the length cover change for comparing a length cover reference classification with a new length cover classification. We have the classification report for uh, getting statistics about surface uh, length cover areas. We can convert the classification from raster to vector. We can uh, use the tool reclassification. And the new tool is the edit raster which allows for the direct uh, 
editing uh, of raster, drawing polygons or using a vector file. So for instance we can create here we can create here a temporary row. We can set to use a custom value and here we can see that the, the classification has been edited directly with the value 1. We can also undo the process. Here we have the original classification. And we can also use uh, uh, an expression, a conditional expression. So, for instance, we have here the expression where the raster, which is the input raster, is uh, equal to we can set one or raster, so leaving the original values. And here we have set the value one only where the classification raster was equal to. I've also added other tools such as the classification sieve for removing very small polygons from the classification. So this is useful for the classification refinement. Classification erosion, which can remove the border for uh, certain land cover classes. So we set the values here. And we can do also the opposite, which is uh, the deletion. So for a class value we can expand the border so also we have a new uh, tool which is the batch tool which allows to use uh, the main functions of the plugin in a script we can set uh, a working directory which is a variable here which can be used in the function. You can see here the list of the functions with the parameters. So here I can uh, I can paste the script that I already wrote. When the batch is green it means that it can be run. And here we have for instance a working directory. We can add an input raster to QJS with the name classification. We can run a band calc expression, a conditional expression here for a new calculation one. And with this calculation we can also perform another calculation using all these options. When we click run, we have here all the outputs. We can copy and paste the style to see that we have performed our calculation in batch. So this is very useful for uh, creating scripts and uh, for improving the classification workflow. So this is the result of a long work. I would really like to thank all the users uh, that have supported me in all these years with your contribution, with your comments and questions and sharing your work. In the next few weeks I'm going to upload several new tutorials about this new version 5 of the plugin. So please join the Facebook group and the Google Plus community. Also please contribute to the translation of the user manual to your language. Thank you for watching. <music>